Starting live video is what it said. That went away. The light says live. We can see the model. Let's zoom in here just a little bit. Thank you for joining us if you are here with us. It is 9 o'clock Central Time, 7 o'clock on the West Coast, 10 o'clock on the East Coast. I am Ivan Zoot. This is Jatai Feather, Facebook Live on Tuesday night. This is maybe the third or fourth time we've done this. Um, it's the second or third time we've done it with little or no technical difficulties. So that's kind of a plus. Uh, as the clock, we just, we've got a chiming clock on the wall back there that makes noise. It just made its noise, which means we now can talk for a little while without that thing interrupting us. But it tells us it's 9 o'clock, and if it is 9 o'clock, it is Facebook Live. So here we go. Uh, my name is Ivan, this is Logan. Logan is our model for this evening, and today we're going to talk about take-home products, take-home hair care product, but specifically take-home shave and skin care product. And Jatai has a brand, the Jatai Healthy Luxury Shave Set. Uh, it's a three-piece set, items also sold separately. Uh, daily Facial Cleanser, Shave Cream, and Daily Facial Moisturizer. These are going to be some of the products that we're talking about. And to make it really, really real for some of you out there, we're going to give you a chance to win it. For those of you that are watching, uh, watch this entire Facebook Live. Uh, like it, because you know it was good, so you're going to like it. Comment on it, because you got stuff to share. We've got people, everybody's got people these days. I've got people at the office that are on the video here with us that are watching, uh, that'll be able to provide me some back-end direction if you guys have questions. I'm not always able to see the video and see the questions coming in, but um, they'll be able to chime in with me with, hey, we got a question out there about something. So we encourage that interaction. We want you to like it. We want you to comment on it. We want you to watch it. And if you do those things, we're gonna give you one of these. Somebody's gonna win one. Somebody's gonna get a Jatai Healthy Luxury Shaving Set as a giveaway tied to this uh, presentation because we love our viewers, we love our fans and friends, we're building some community here and as always as you've come to know from Jatai Academy, we are providing quality content information and education. So um, let's talk about what we're going to talk about and what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about using and recommending take home shaving skin care product. Now right before we went on camera, I used a foil shaver, you know foil shavers, they used one on me yesterday to take this haircut down to nothing, tight. We've got a wedding coming up this weekend, my older son's getting married, I gotta look good because these pictures are gonna last a long time, so I got a brand new fresh haircut. They took me down on the back and sides with a foil shaver. Right before we went live on camera, I shaved my face because I had to get up early to get on an airplane this morning, and I didn't shave this morning, but I got to look good for all you guys out there. And right after I shave with that foil shaver, I always use moisturizer. Now, you don't know this. I'm 86 years old, and I look damn good. You didn't know I was that old, did you? Well, chalk it up to moisturizer. That's right. In the Healthy Luxury Shave Set, item number three is a really, really good moisturizer. And after I shave, I didn't do this before the video started. I want to do this and put it on there. That is my key. You know, I'm not Dick Clark, but I'm going to give him a run for his money. I'm going to stay young forever. Don't let the fact that my kid's getting married this weekend and my hair's a little gray in the corners make you think this is creeping up on me and it's bugging me a little. I'm good with it. We're okay. But moisturizer. Moisturizer's going to keep you looking young and keep your skin young and healthy and soft and shiny and bright and youthful and wrinkle-free and all that good stuff. Non-greasy, nourishing, non-scented. All the products in the Healthy Luxury Shave line are non-scented. That's a nice additional feature there. So we've got the three-pack set of the Healthy Luxury Shave items, and we've also got the beard and mustache 
soft and smooth and control product. And Logan's got a little mustache going on here. He's got a little beard thing going on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that down and smooth it out. We trimmed it the other day. He's in the wedding. He's got to good, look good for the wedding. And see my people, there they are. One lucky person will win a Jatai Trio shaving set. Just stay on the Facebook Live until the end. Comment, share, and like the video. That's what I said. We're saying it again. So if you didn't hear it and now you read it, now you know, we're good. Okay. But what we're going to do is we're going to take the beard and mustache down. I just cleaned him up the other day, but this stuff came back as it always does. So we're going to perform a partial shave service and we're going to talk about product. So we're going to get a little technical in here, but we're going to get a little more businessy with the Healthy Luxury Shave products and a system that I developed years ago. Now, back in a former life and a former part of my career, I was a national sales manager for a hair care product company, and we did a lot of product education. Not what are the ingredients and how do you pronounce them, but what it is, what it does, and how to use it education. And one of the things I developed along the way was something called the chair side selling sequence. There's the fist bump. Who's giving me the fist bump right there? Um, we're going to use uh, the chair side selling sequence. That's what I was talking about. It's a series of steps involved in, I got people in the background here heckling me during my live program. Everybody wants to behave themselves. Everybody wants this to be nice and professional. And I keep reminding people, hey, it's live. You don't know what's going to happen. Things could go well, things could go badly, we'll see. But anyways, the chair side selling sequence. What this is all about is there's a series of steps that you can execute. And I'm gonna break those steps down and I'm gonna put them together in a smooth flow so you can see what they look like and hear what they sound like as we interact with clients. When we have a client in a chair, we've got a cape on top of a client and I might point out, we got the Cubs cape again. Yeah, that's right. Go Cubs. This could be a great year. It's shaping up. We're doing well. But anyways, we're not talking about tonight, okay? <laughs> I understand they're getting a shellacking from Cleveland and a little bit of payback over the 16 World Series, which I will mention we won. Don't get me off track. We've got to stay focused here for the program, all right? What were we talking about? Chair side selling sequence. We have a unique opportunity. We've got a client in the chair. We've got a cape on a client. We've got 15 or 20 minutes on the clock. We're going to do a haircut, we're going to do a shave, we're going to take care of a client. During that time, we can talk about the Cubs, we can talk about the weather, we can talk about politics, we can talk about all kinds of things, but we should talk about take-home product. You know, take-home product adds a level of bottom-line profitability to your business that services just don't. Service revenue, you've got labor involved in service revenue, you've got products and costs to deliver services. You've got cost, and then you've just got selling price, and in between cost and selling price, you've got profit. Every single dollar you ring into your cash register for take-home care your product represents 35% profitability straight to your bottom line. You don't get that with service dollars, so it's very, very important that you build a healthy take-home hair care product, take-home shave care product, sales business within your business. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk just a little bit about the grooming aspect of his facial hair. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a clipper, and we're gonna grab a guard. Now I know from previous circumstances, I'm not gonna mock you through a consultation here. I know we take this down with a two. I've got a two guard on my clipper, I've got my blade in the triple zero close or close position, and I'm gonna run that two guard over the portion of his goatee that we're keeping and that we're keeping long. We just did this the other day, so I don't anticipate a whole lot of hair is gonna come away, but he needs to look absolutely sharp uh, for the weekend and for the wedding. So we're gonna take that down, we'll take the mustache down, and he knows, notice how he tightened up his upper lip like that? Some clients are gonna need a little steering or guidance. You're gonna need to go, go like that. When you want them to pop their chin out, you're gonna need to go, go like that. When you want them to pull their nose up out of the way, and that's it, look, we got him trained. It's like doing a haircut on a seal at SeaWorld. He's trained and he knows what to do. Don't try to laugh while I'm trimming your mustache. It's not gonna work, okay? See what happens when you get a family member for a model instead of a straight up model? Last time it was a model and the guy was well behaved. This is just the way it works. We got 15 people watched, 13 people, two people left just as I was looking up. But you know what, that number's growing. The first time we did one of these lives, we only had a couple of people watching 
and hundreds of people watched on the rebroadcast on the replays. We're building an audience, which is great. You know to count on Jatai Academy for quality education, and you know when we come online and do this, you're gonna learn something that tomorrow you're gonna use to make money. So we're happy to have you guys here. Don't forget, comment, like, and stick around for the giveaway that the office is gonna take care of after that. Okay, we used our clipper, we took that surface down. We're gonna switch to a trimmer. In this case, I've got a T-blade on my trimmer. We're going to use our trimmer, we're going to pick up a finishing comb, we're going to clean up the bottom edge of the mustache, and we're going to do any over comb work to smooth in any areas, especially in the chin where we have the recess that we figure the guard can't get to and there are some longer hairs. We're going to use a little bit of over comb technique just to make sure we snazz that up. Can you grab me the uh, bottle of water while you're doing it? Thank you. It's good to have people in the background for tech and support. No, drinking water. If we don't have one, grab one next door. Is that on open? Yeah, that's fine. We'll drink that. All right. The guy that I work with here has got a station over there. He's got an open bottle at the station. Thank you for donating a water bottle to our Facebook Live program this evening. They said to fade your hair. They said what? To fade his hair. No, he's not getting a fade, okay? He's in the midst of, let's not dog him about this. He's in the midst of a hair growing out project. He's been really diligent about it. When your father is clipper guy, when your older son is keep my hair nice and tight and close and groomed guy, what you're seeing here is a level of rebellion that I have little or no patience or tolerance for, but I am respectful of. So no, we're not going to fade him up. We're not going to cut him down. We're just grooming the facial hair. Uh, it is what it is. I've come to accept it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of that long hair. We're going to park it up and out of the way with a world famous Clipper Guy Gripper. You know and love those. Uh, but we're going to address just this side. I'll put that up out of the way too so we don't have to deal with it. We're going to address just this side of his face. In the background here, we're going to turn the hot water on. It won't be too noisy. I want to let the water get warm. The shop's closed at night, so the water hasn't been running. It's going to take a couple minutes to get that water warm. But what I'm going to do is... I'm going to throw in the headrest. I'm going to pump up the chair. Tip back all the way. I'm going to throw him back in the chair just a bit. I'm going to grab a towel. And I'm going to tuck it in here because what we're going to do is we are going to, and this is what we'd be doing in the shop if we were going to shave our client. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to take my trimmer. While hot water is getting hot, I'm going to take my trimmer and I'm going to take down this longer hair because it's always easier to shave if I take him down to manageable stubble first. If I've got half an inch of hair on his chin before I go at it with a blade, I just have to push him and shove my way to a whole lot more growth. It's just going to be that much easier if I take him down with a trimmer first. So first things first, take him down with a trimmer so we get that tight. Look at his growth pattern and direction. Right at the neckline here, he's got some inverted growth direction that is going to be a bit of a challenge with the blade. And his skin is finer and a little more sensitive, so we're going to use a programmed blade because I don't want to hack him up. We're going to be careful with his skin. Now, in a home shaving situation, we would start with daily facial cleanser. This is the product we would use in the shower, I keep mine in the shower, I use it in the shower. If you take a shower, then you're going to shave out of the shower at the sink, keep it at the sink, and use it to cleanse your face. It's going to remove dirt, it's going to uh, get your face prepped for shaving. This is what we would apply here. I'm not going to go there just yet. I allude to using that now. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take him down with the foil shaver. Again, the idea here is, and by the way, I sprayed the foil shaver with clipper side after I used it at least 10 minutes ago and before I put it on him. That's good sanitation principles and practices in the shop. Every client, every time, every day, no exceptions. I'm going to move the camera in just a little closer because we can. And because every time I do these, people like to complain about my camera angles and positioning and everything. Are you happy you can see yourself on there? Okay, I've got my foil shaver, and again, the shorter and closer I can take him down with electrical tools before I go at him with a blade, 
just the more comfortable and the better the shade surface is going to be. So our feather razors and blades are the key to a close and magnificent shade, but some of our electrical support tools are not a bad idea before we get there. So I finish with that, spray it, talked about the importance of sanitation and infection control. We should have warm water now. We do have warm water. We're going to do a classic barbershop steam towel on his skin before we go for it. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to fold the towel in half, and we're going to roll the towel up like this. And then I'm going to hold the towel. Now you can see a lot of steam coming off this water back here. It's way too hot. I'm going to back it off just a little bit. We want it warm. Now some of you may use a cabinet. I don't use a warming cabinet. I go old school. And I use a real steam towel made with real warm water. Now, this is an ideal temperature. If it's a little too hot to hold and handle, you switch the faucet to cold, you run your hand under the cold faucet, you quickly grab the towel with a chilled hand, get rid of the excess water, and you bring it over, you open it up, and you get it on that client's face. Now we can wrap that around completely over the top of the head if we were doing a full face shave. We're not taking the mustache to go tee off, so I'm just going to leave that on there like that for a few moments. Leave that in place. Let that do its job. Now we would be putting a fresh blade in our razor. We were doing some of our other prep work and whatnot. Okay, just going to leave that on there just a bit. Softening up the hair, warming up the skin getting things ready for shading. Now, the cleanser, the facial cleanser. At a sink with running water in your hands, you're washing your face. I'm gonna apply a small amount of that pre-shaded cleanser to my hands. I'm gonna work it in, work it in, work it in. Massage it, and again, fragrance-free, nice product. And I'm going to remove the excess of the extra with, once again, that hot steam towel. I'm going to use the same towel on my client. One of the advantages of making a traditional steam towel as opposed to using a towel from a cabinet. Come in here. I'm just going to use that towel to remove any excess product. Now some of us use hot lather coming out of a hot lather machine to shave customers in the shop or salon. And while I understand the traditional aspect of hot lather, I think it's more important to talk about the retail possibilities tied to the use of a product that is available for take home. So I've got my shaving cream in the Healthy Luxury Shave Set. I am going to take a small amount of the shave cream, I'm going to apply the shave cream to the area that we are shaving. Good circular motions, nice, even, and you notice it doesn't lather, it doesn't foam, it doesn't whiten up. I can see the area that I'm shaving, it softens the hair, it provides slip, slide, and glide on the surface of the skin, it's going to give us a beautiful shave result. I've got my Feather Artist Club Razor the Scotchwood handle, and I've got a ProGuard blade in there. Everybody knows me, knows I love ProGuard. The ProGuard blades are really great because they've got that wire wrapping on them that protects us from cutting the client and gives us a beautiful, smooth, clean, and close shave. I can get the necessary tension on the skin, the shave right down to the point where I see the change in growth direction, and then I'm going to shave upward in the opposite direction. Now the whole way through this experience, I've been talking to him, you've been hearing me, I've been talking to you, about the products I'm using, the what and the why of those products. Now, we have this time with our client in the chair. We want to use this time to talk about the things we talk about and to focus on take home hair care product. So when I'm finished with my shaving, my third and my final product, and it's over here, I used it on me earlier, it's my moisturizer, it's my shave cream, facial moisturizer, there we go. Third one 
in the Healthy Luxury Shave set right there is my moisturizer. Now I'm only going to do one side of his face here on camera in the interest of time because we want to get on the chair side selling sequence. Now I would apply my moisturizer to the skin. Feels good, soothes, protects, fragrance free, fabulous product. Put your hand up and feel that. Don't sit up, just put your hand up. It's in there somewhere. There you go. Found it. Found your hand. How's that feel? Smooth. Pretty good, huh? Smooth, nice, clean, close shave. Okay, so we've performed a service on our client. In this case, a goatee trim and a partial shave. I'm going to ask you to sit all the way up. I'm going to sit you up. Now, oh, look at that. He's even bigger now because the camera's closer. We're going to take the headrest away. We've got our client in the chair. And now we're going to take you through what we call that chair side selling sequence. Some of it could have been done during service delivery, but I wanted to take you through some of the service delivery steps. But the rest of it is done at the chair, during the haircut, as part of the client experience behind the chair. The chair side selling sequence is a series of steps. I'm going to back the camera off just a little so you can get a sense of what we've got going on here with the chair side selling sequence. And we're going to talk specifically about the shaving cream. And it's going to sound like this. We've got our steps. Are you ready to go with the chair side selling sequence? Step one is identify. It sounds like this. Logan, this is Jatai Healthy Luxury Shave Cream. Now notice what was done. I presented the product to my customer and I identified the product by its proper name. Listen to it again. Logan, this is Jatai Healthy Luxury Shave Cream. One of the things you'll notice is that's what it says on the label. If you're not sure of the names of products, read the bottles and read the tubes. The names are extremely important. We're not going to call this Jatai Shave Cream. We're not going to call it Shaving Lotion. We're not going to call it Shave Stuff. We're going to call it by its very exact and specific name. Logan, this is Jatai Healthy Luxury Shave Cream. We're going to present it to the client and we're going to call it by name. When we identify products, we want to use the proper names because proper names contain value. They contain what we call franchise. Now, I did not work for Jatai and Jatai Academy at the time that this product was developed. I did not sit in a product development meeting when they were debating, discussing, and negotiating what they were going to call this product. I don't know what some of the working names were for it before they settled on Jatai Healthy Luxury Shaving Cream, but I promise you there was fighting in that room. There was arguing going on in that room. There were different people, marketing, sales, manufacturing, who all had had ideas about what to call this product. And in a marketing meeting, they talk about it, they discuss it, they fight about it, they argue, people throw things, people swear, people stomp out of the meeting disappointed. But at the end of the day, they come up with a name. And you know they worked hard, and you know it was important that they get the name as they believed it to be right. Now, they might have chosen the name from the head of marketing because he's the smart guy in the room. I don't know. They might have chosen the name from the owner of the company because he's the owner. We just do what the owner wants, and, and he gets veto power on everything. But the bottom line is this is where they got to, and we want to respect that. I use as an example when we talk about identification. Raise your hand if you have a child. I got one right here. Raise your hand if you've ever been a child. Raise your hand if you're still a child. Okay, see what I mean? This is what's going on there. So, for those of us that have kids, has your kid ever said to you, hey mom, or hey dad, I want a cheeseburger, small fries, small drink, and a cheap plastic toy? Have you ever heard them say that? No, they've never said that. What do they say? They say, I want... Happy meal. They say they want a happy meal. What is a happy meal? Really? What is a happy meal? A happy meal is a registered trademark of McDonald's Corporation of America. Make no mistake. It's a cheeseburger, small fries, small drink, and a cheap plastic toy. But it's a registered trademark of McDonald's Corporation of America. If you open up Ivan's Burgers and you offer a cheeseburger, small fries, small drink, and a cheap plastic toy, and you call it a Happy Meal, McDonald's lawyers will hunt you down and sue you until you are dead because you cannot infringe on somebody's trademark. That's how important those specific names are. Step number one in the chair side selling sequence is identify. Logan, this is Jatai 
Healthy Luxury Shaving Cream. That's all you gotta say. Identify the item. Step two. Step number two is classify the item. Listen carefully. I'm gonna start over from the top and we'll talk about how it works. Logan, it's gonna be step one and step two. When we get to three, I'll go one, two, three. I'm building on it so you can see how the flow goes. Logan, this is Jatai Healthy Luxury Shave Cream. It is a professional shave cream for men, specifically designed to be used to prevent clogging, uh, it's got a refreshing feeling, and a non-foaming formulation. So what did you hear there? You heard professional shave cream, specifically designed to prevent clogging of the razor, it's got a refreshing feeling, and it's non-foaming. Where did I come up with that? It's on the label. It's smaller print than the name. It's the qualifying information, or it's a classifying information. Identify, classify. Classification information is generic information. It is category information. Um, it's designed to help the client develop a frame of reference. We've all used shave creams. We've used shave soaps. This one's not a soap. It's a cream. We've used shave gels. This one's not a gel. It's a cream. We use the classification discussion and information to help the client build a frame of reference. When I say Jatai Healthy Luxury Shaving Cream, identify, he doesn't necessarily know a lot about it from that name. It's a good descriptive name, but it's not enough. After we identify, we classify. I like to think of it as going to the filing cabinet and working our way through until find its category description. A little more information, more generic in nature, to help them understand what it is we're sharing with them. Identify, classify is step two. Are you ready for step three? Step three is qualify. Identify, classify, qualify. I'm going to start from the top, I'm going to run you through, and I'll explain what it sounds like. So I've got a client in my chair, we're having a shave experience, it's time to talk about shave product, and I say, Logan, this is Jatai Healthy Luxury Shave Cream. It is a professional shave cream. It features a clog-free formulation, a nice refreshing feeling, and specifically a non-foaming formulation so it doesn't lather up. That allows us to see the lines and edges of the goatee and the sideburns to help maintain that nice and crispy shape. Because you're gonna be shaving on a regular basis to keep those lines and things crisp and clean, you need a quality professional shave product. The key to identify, classify, qualify is what's called a because statement. Did you hear it when I said it? I said because you're going to be keeping that goatee nice and crisp and clean, you're going to be shaving more frequently, you're going to need a quality professional shave cream. Because, why, and we're answering the question because when I approach Logan and I do this, I come up and I go, Logan, this is Jatai Healthy Luxury Shave Cream. It's a professional shave cream featuring a clog-free clog formulation, non-foaming with a wonderful refreshing feeling. Immediately in his head, he is thinking, why are you showing me this? Why are you talking to me about this? Why are you bringing me this? What the heck is going on here? What's this all about? You want to do in sales what's called forestalling the objection. Forestalling an objection is the idea that you answer a question before it is asked. You address the objection before he objects. So before he says, what is that? Why are you showing that to me? Go ahead. What is that? Why are you showing it to me? We didn't even practice that. Didn't he do a great job? What is that? Why are you showing that to me? Before he goes there, I go there. Logan, this is your Thai Healthy Luxury Shave Cream. It is a professional shave cream with a clog-free formulation, nice refreshing feeling, and a non-foaming uh, chemistry that's not going to ladder up. You're going to be able to see the lines and edges of your goatee. You're going to see your sideburn. If I take your sideburns too short, you're always mad at me. So it'll let you know where that line is to follow it real easy. And because you're going to be shaving more often, you need a quality product. So before he says, what is it? Why are you showing it to me? I've identified it. I've classified it. And I've qualified it. Those are your first three steps. Got any questions? Type them in right here. We're ready to help you. This is how we build a take-home hair care product business. And if you've been watching and commenting and listening, remember, one lucky person wins the Healthy Luxury Shave Trio after the program. You gotta stick around, you gotta comment, you gotta like. I wanna see some hearts here. Start liking, start tapping, start thumbs up in me here, come on. All right, be engaged in the process. Thank you very much. All right, here's the deal. Identify, classify, qualify, occupy. 
That's the next step. Step number four is occupy. Watch very carefully. There we go. Somebody liked it. I saw a heart. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. There are people in the room. I don't feel like I'm talking to myself. I know there's going to be hundreds of you on the replay, so we're all good. All right, it's raining hearts and thumbs now. Game on. Here we go. From the top. That was the clock in the background. Identify, classify, qualify, occupy. It sounds like this. Logan. This is Jatai Healthy Luxury Shave Cream. It's a professional shave cream featuring a clog-free formulation and a non-foaming chemistry. It's got a nice refreshing feeling. Because you're going to be shaving more often to keep that goatee looking crisp, you're going to need a good professional shave cream on a daily basis. And what did I do when I was done talking? I handed it to him. And what did he do when I handed it to him? He took it. That's Occupy. This is where we physically get the customer engaged in the relationship with the product. You know there's an expression, possession is nine tenths. Here's the deal, he's in possession of the product. Now, when you hand the product to somebody, Is Jatai Blade Glide okay for shaving? Is Jatai Blade Glide okay for shaving? Somebody who knows about Blade Glide, that's another product in the brand. Blade Guide is a spray product. It's an awesome shave product. It's great for longer hair cutting if you're cutting especially with a uh, Jatai hair cutting razor or freestyle razor. And it's great on the skin. You're seeing a lot of people specifically using Blade Guide on the hard partings that we're putting in. I used to have one on this side here. The hard partings we're putting in haircuts because you just spray it on. It's got some nice uh, lubricity, slipperiness to it, and you can get your scalp tension with your thumb, and you come in and etch with your razor. So Blade Glide is another great shaved product. I've been focusing heavily on this one here in this dialogue, but whoever asked about that, yes, Blade Glide for freestyle razor cutting and for shaving on the skin and off the skin on the hair is a great other choice. So, when you hand somebody, when you go to the occupation stage, when you physically give him the shave cream, watch his behavior. What we're looking for is what we call the sniff or the put. Now, what's going on with that is, when you hand a product to somebody, they're going to, he was reading. Now, I just broke a rule. I'll tell you the rule I just broke in a minute. But he may start reading the label. He may open the bottle. Sniff. Now we're fragrance free, but he doesn't know that if he doesn't check. All right. Now look for the sniff or the put. A sniff or a label read is his way of saying I want more information about the product. He's seeking out more information through his own sources. The put, and we don't see it so much with shaving, but the put is when a client will take a product, reach up and put it on your station. You hand it to them, they put it on your station. That is a physical demonstration of the idea, I don't want to buy that. They're literally trying to distance themselves from the product. They're trying to put it on the counter to get it away from themselves. Look for these kind of clues. And one thing I didn't mention earlier with regards to this selling process is, at any point in the process, if the sale is made, stop selling. So for instance, in the early stages, when I identify the product, now, Logan, I'm going to show you this product, and as soon as I say what the product is, I want you to say, ooh, I need to take that home. I need that product, okay? That's your line. Again, we didn't practice. So it would look like this. Identification stage from the top. Logan, this is Jatai Healthy Luxury Shave Cream. Ooh, I need to take that home. Stop selling. The sale has been made. At this point, if you keep talking, you can sell the client out of it. If he wants it... You're done. You've done your job. You move on to a different step. You don't continue with the cycle. Identify, classify, qualify, occupy. One of the rules of occupy, the rule that I broke a short time ago is, once you have handed a product to a client, don't ever take it away. If you want to point out to the client that it's a clog-free formula that doesn't clog your razors when you're working with it, when you're shaving, you might be using a multi-blade razor on a cartridge at home, you say to him, notice it's clog free. Now, very important body language going on here. He's got one, I've got one. The nonverbal message is that one is yours, this one is mine. This one is mine and that one is mine. yours. In order for you to take that home, what are you going to have to do? 
buy it. You have to pay for it. That's exactly right. So we identify, classify, qualify, occupy. He's got the product in his hand. I can point out um, no blade buildup. It easily rinses. I can point out other details on the back. I can point out, hey, did you notice? It's two ounces. What does that mean? Anybody who flies on an airplane, two ounces, what does that mean? That means that is TSA compliant. That means this one goes through the airport without a problem. That's good to know if you're a frequent traveler. So, identify, classify, qualify, occupy. Next step in the system, clarification. Clarification is the stage in the selling sequence in which we ask and answer questions. You blade shave at home, don't you? Mm -hmm. That's a question. That's trying to get him further involved in the conversation. Have you used the Jatai Healthy Love Tree Shave product before? Not yet. Not yet. Good answer. That indicates he's thinking down the road about the possibility of using the product. This is where we ask and answer questions. It's also where we gain information about what the client is thinking. If his answer was, you know, I haven't used the tie and I've got like nine cans of Barbasol at home, so till I use those up, I'm not going to be ready to buy anything. He's told you about where we are psychologically in the sales process. He's given you a lot of very valuable information. But his answers will let us know where we are in the equation. If I say to him, so um, did you notice where it talks about the fact that it doesn't foam up, so you're going to be able to see the goatee as you're shaving? That's going to be really valuable, isn't it? Sure. Notice the other technique I was using there. That's going to be really valuable, isn't it? That's a powerful sales technique called smile and nod. There's so much going on as we interact with clients like this. That's going to let you see the lines and edges of the goatee, so you're going to be able to follow the edges really well. Because you know you chop one side of the goatee, what do you got to do? Chop the other. You got to chop the other. That's right. We're building a relationship. We're reinforcing our sales points. We're class, identify, classify, qualify, occupy, clarify. We're clarifying where we are in the equation. And remember, if he says anything indicating a purchase, what do I do? I stop selling because I it's sold. Next step in the system, identify, classify, I'm checking my notes, identify, classify, qualify, occupy, clarify, fortify. Fortification is where we come in and we seek to strengthen our circumstances with the product. In the fortification stages, what I like to do is I like to ask and answer questions. I like to relate examples and experiences. Actually, ask and answer questions is in the uh, clarification stage. Fortify, I'm sorry, fortify is where we relate examples and experiences. You know, one of the things I really love about Jatai Healthy Luxury Shave Cream is that it, you know, in addition to being transparent, it doesn't clog the blade because it's a light formulation, so it slides through. When I shave at home sometimes, I've got that five blade razor and one quick rinse underneath the faucet, and it blows through really well. I relate an example or an experience to further reinforce the things I'm saying and the stories I'm telling about the product. I'm looking for that smile and nod. I'm looking for that connectivity. So I'm fortifying or strengthening the relationship in the process. Identify, classify, qualify, occupy, clarify, fortify, and then justify. Justification is where we answer objections. Justification is where a client says things like, wow, it's kind of expensive, where they might object to the price, or they might, and this one's not expensive, I'm only using that as an example, or they might say, well, the tube's kind of small. He's not necessarily saying that, but I'm going to say, yeah, you know what, it is under two, it's two ounces, it's under three. Do you know why we did that? That's because it's ideally suited for travel. It's TSA compliant. You won't have any problem getting that through the airport in a carry-on. And all of a sudden, they go, really? What a great idea. Give me three of those little tubes. That's how we ju justify. We address challenges, objections, or concerns. Some of them we may have forestalled earlier in the classification stages and as we got the customer engaged with the product, but when we get down back here to justify, this is where we address those challenges, objections, and other things like that. If we're ready to move on, identify, classify, qualify, occupy, clarify, fortify, justify. Next step, connectify. That's right. I make up a word, I'm allowed to do that because I'm the presenter, Connectify. Do you know what Connectify is all about? 
Logan's got his Healthy Luxury Shave Cream. That's when I roll in with... Logan? Listen carefully. Logan? This is Jatai Healthy Luxury Daily Facial Moisturizer. It's a non-greasy, nourishing, unscented formulation to be used as the final step in your shave experience. Because you're going to be blade shaving to keep that goatee crisp, and because you're going to be shaving on a daily basis, and with summer coming, you're going to be getting some sunshine, it's going to be very important that you're using a quality moisturizer to protect your skin, to keep it healthy, and to keep it looking good. What you just saw there was Connectify. What did I do? I found the companion product that goes with the first product, and I went back to the top, I identified, I classified, I qualified, I occupied, I got him involved in it, he's sniffing, he's reading, he's touching, we're fully engaged in the process. Anywhere in the process, if the sale is made, stop talking. That's a repeater. We keep reminding you of that. And as he continues to look at that product, one of the things we can do is this. We can say, you know, Logan, we do have the Healthy Luxury Shave set. Not only does it give you, look at that, he's interested, I got him. He's it. it gives you the shave cream and the moisturizer, but the daily facial cleanser that we used on you today before we shave is included in the set. With this set, you're ready to rock, as opposed to buying the singles. Is that a good deal? Sounds like. 20 bucks. Deal. It's what it costs. It's not expensive at all. And when you consider how concentrated it is and how little you use, that's a justification comment. When you consider how concentrated the product is and how little you will use on a daily basis. Now, did you hear that? How little you will use on a daily basis. What did I do there? That was a sales technique called speaking assumptively. I'll say it again. When you notice how concentrated the product is and you realize how little you use on a daily basis, I'm treating the sale as though it's already happened. I'm talking about the product as though it is already in his house and he is in his bathroom and he's using the product on a daily basis. That is called speaking assumptively, assuming the sale is gonna be made to create language in his mind that allows him to visualize the transaction finished, the product at home, and him enjoying the product on a daily basis. Identify, classify, qualify, occupy, clarify, fortify, justify, connectify. The Healthy Luxury Shave Set gives you everything you need, but there is one more product. This one right here is the Beard and Mustache Softener Controlling and Smoothing Product from the Healthy Luxury Shave Set. And what you do with this one is, and I think this one's brand new and still has a seal on it, there's a safety seal in there to make sure you're getting good, fresh, non-tampered with product all the time. Make sure you take that off, because otherwise you'll snap the cap open. You could squeeze that a lot, and nothing's going to come out if the seal is still on there. But you're going to put a small amount, and look, look at that. How much life are you going to get out of that too? You're going to get a lot of uses out of that. There's a justification step right there. You're going to rub that in. You're going to massage that into your mustache and your beard. Now your hair is short, so it stays healthy and it stays soft, but short hair will still appreciate this. Notice how some of the wild and crazies are laying down nice and smooth. The ladies are going to like the way that looks. The ladies are going to like the way that feels when you're thinking and you're stroking your goatee like that. What are you thinking? You might be thinking about string theory and all kinds of nuclear physics, or you might be thinking, wow, my goatee is nice and smooth and soft, and the ladies, they're going to like that. We don't know what you're thinking, but you know it's a great product. He's got the Healthy Luxury Shave Set, and then we layer in the Beard and Mustache Softener. Now he's got the entire package. We're going to take him up front. We're going to ring him up. Identify, classify, qualify, occupy, clarify, fortify, justify, connectify. And there's one last step. The final step is apply and modify. And what I mean by that is, if using a system like this is new for you, I don't expect you to be making sales every time, every client. It'd be great if we got there, but I expect you to be learning. There's going to be a learning curve. You want to apply this information. You want to apply this knowledge to client situations. You want to be talking about product to every client every time. When you find components of the system that work for you, drive in on those, hone in on those, and focus in on those. When you find aspects of the system that don't feel right or comfortable, some people aren't feeling confident enough 
And it's a perfectly natural thing for a salesperson to have some lack of confidence in their information as they build their skills and as they work towards being more proficient. But you may find, for instance, that the, uh, which stage would I use as an example? The fortification stage, relating examples and experiences. If you haven't built up a library of stories in your head to tell about every product that you offer, you might want to skip that step. You might want to modify that step, or you might want to have a go-to story that you use frequently. Personally, I'll be honest with you, one of my favorite stories to tell is stories of concentrated product where you use very little and you get extended value from items. I've always liked that because in the professional beauty industry, sometimes there's a tendency to receive price objections from customers. Sometimes we might feel that things are a little bit pricey, and we want to get out in front of that. By talking about the concentration of products, we get out in front of that in a comfortable way. So that's a story I like to tell. The point of apply and modify is apply the system to what you do, learn from trial and error and experiences, and tweak what you do. Customize your approach to fit your client base. If your clients are all looking like Logan, they're 20 year olds, your approaches are going to be different than if your clients are looking like me. Remember, I'm 83 years old. Thanks to the moisturizer, I don't look like it. But depending on the age of your clients, your approach might need some modification as well. So from the top, identify, classify, qualify, occupy, clarify, fortify, justify, connectify, apply, and modify. I didn't even need the notes to do that. I've been doing this for years. The notes are there just for me as a bit of a backup. And again, as a salesperson, I want that confidence I get from a backup. When we get done off camera, I'm going to have to shave the other side of Logan so we've got the look looking good. I appreciate everybody tuning in tonight online here at Chitai. Obviously this is going to be available for replay and rebroadcast. You'll have the opportunity to watch it slowly and listen to it again and memorize those steps. Please follow us. Go to jatai.net, J-A-T-A-I.net on the web so that you subscribe to our academy. We're sending out information every single day. There's tons of great videos from me and many other talented beauty industry professionals. Jatai has well on their way to establishing a reputation for top quality education. Clipperguy.com is my website. You know there's great stuff there, including the Ask Ivan feature. It's actually Talk To Me Now. You click on the button that says Talk To Me, and you can type in your questions. Uh, for those of you that have been hanging with us here, thank you for being here. Remember, we've got the giveaway. Uh, I'm going to break a rule. I'm going to take this away from Logan. I'm going to show it to you. Somebody's going to get one of those. You liked, you commented, you hung with us for the program. You're going to be watching on replay. We're going to do the giveaway on that. Most importantly is that last step, that apply and modify. No one, nothing in this world happens ever until someone sells something to somebody. You've got to be willing to walk in the door, so to speak. You've got to be willing to make the pitch. We have the captive opportunity of a client in our chair. This is the longest that Logan has sat still at any point in time, including the entire school year and since he's been on vacation. So we've got a captive audience. He's been a great model for us. He's cooperated and played along really well. And I thank him for being willing to participate with us. I thank him. He's my kid. He didn't have a choice. He was told he was going to do it. That's what happens when you got kids. You got models ready and waiting to go. As long as I promised there would be no haircutting, he was happy to participate in this program tonight. But thank you for tuning in as always. We're going to be back here with another date and another time and another great Jatai Academy program. I'm real passionate about suggesting and recommending professional take-home product, so I'm really thrilled that we used our time with you tonight to talk about this subject. We can talk about lots of technical things, but you know what? These are the kind of programs that I think are going to make all of us more money, bigger, better, faster, and sooner. And that's what we want to do in this business. We want to make clients happy. We want to take good care of people. And we want to build and grow our business. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Good luck. Somebody's going to win the giveaway. Jatai here on Facebook, Jatai Academy Online, all over social media. We love Instagram, too. I, I follow the brand. You should follow the brand and follow me there. I've said enough. I appreciate you being here. Thanks for watching. Good night.